What you guys in this video we're taking a look at easy ways to update your drivers on Windows 10. Now when you've got Windows drivers that need updating there's a bunch of different ways of going about doing it and I'm going to show you some of the ways in this video. Now I get asked this question quite a bit so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you some of the ways that you can do it and some of the ways I recommend. So we're going to device manager here and just take a look at some of the drivers. Now this will be the drivers for your graphics card for your um, you know audio and stuff like that so whatever hardware you've got in your PC it will need a driver to make it work correctly whether it be a microphone speakers all that sort of stuff it will need a driver now Windows normally installs these especially in Windows 10 it normally installs these drivers for you but on occasion you may run into problems where you need to download drivers now a lot of technicians will use something like this which is called snappy driver installer or snappy driver installer origin it just depends on which version you prefer to use now why would you want to use something like this well as a PC repair tech you're going to get a bunch of computers and laptops into your shop which you're going to need to sometimes update and sometimes trying to find the right driver for that hardware can be difficult and sometimes time consuming this will make the whole process a lot more easier so we'll download these and I'll show you what they look like and how they work but some people prefer to go to the manufacturer's website and download them there, which is a bit more time consuming and I'll show you both anyway. So let's go ahead and download Snappy Driver Installer Origin. It's a portable version which allows you to download and update drivers for all of your hardware and it can keep that uh, hardware updated with the latest drivers. So we're going to extract this to our desktop and uh, once we've done this, this will uh, give us the folder which we can go into. So here we have our folder, we can go into here and there is a file in here which you can right click and we can run this as administrator and we can then download drivers for our machine. Now whether they're drivers that are outdated or whether they're drivers that are missing or whether they're drivers that are unknown to you, this program can help you uh, get the latest drivers for those. You can see download all driver packs download network drivers only and download indexes only these are indexes uh, for the drivers there now if you've got say for instance a driver that's missing whether it be a LAN or or WAN sort of driver and you need to get it so you can get on the internet you can download those okay if you can download the driver packs it makes things a lot more easier now there is a lot of um, driver software out there on the market which is basically snake oil and you want to stay clear of those you don't know where they're downloading them from and they can be a bit risky to use. This one is probably one of the better ones out there which is quite well known and trusted. You can change the theme here and you can change the language. You can put expert mode on. Now you'll see down on this section here install, select all and select none, refresh, load snapshot and also extract to and options. There's also uh, some other areas down the bottom here which you can look at here which is found in driver packs which is not installed newer current older and better matched and worse matched and also we've got not installed unknown and standard you can select whatever you like here and do a search for those particular types of drivers now this software is very useful for older laptops and stuff like that which will help you find uh, drivers for that particular device and that can be time consuming sometimes whereas this makes it a lot more quicker and easier a good thing here is when you hover over it it will tell you the hardware ID you can do a search online for that hardware ID to try and find that driver it will also tell you the signature and what driver is installed it will tell you whether it's a Microsoft driver uh, installed or whether it's the actual official driver from the manufacturer's website you can see that it's signature in red there it'll also uh, allow you to right click and search Microsoft update catalog to get with the hardware ID for that particular driver so you can sometimes download it from there very very useful uh, this program uh, for finding hard to find drivers for hardware on older machines and stuff like that especially machines that don't have a big uh, database of drivers like Windows 10 may struggle to find those drivers if you've got a hold piece of hardware and it's not finding that driver you can use something like this to get that uh, driver up and running on the system and make that um, uh, 
piece of hardware work correctly. Now another thing to take into account is Microsoft sometimes install drivers which are not the correct drivers or they don't work correctly and you will need to go to either the manufacturer's website and download those drivers or you can use something like Snappy Driver Installer uh, to get those drivers installed. Now some people steer clear of programs like this and saying you don't need them and that would be partially correct because you don't actually need software like this to get drivers. You can actually go to the manufacturer's website of that piece of hardware and download the drivers. It can be time consuming but sometimes when you go to the motherboard manufacturer website they will have a utility which will keep all of the drivers updated for that motherboard so it makes the whole process a lot more easier so do we actually need this software and i would say we do in some circumstances as a tech sometimes you're working on a laptop which is very difficult to find some of the drivers for that laptop it may be an older laptop and some of the drivers on their website may have been obsolete or discontinued and you can't get hold of them whereas this piece of software will be able to go and find uh, crucial bits of uh, drivers for that laptop and get it up and running very quickly whereas you could be searching the internet for drivers on the internet which are high risk because you don't know whether you can trust those drivers or not so you can see here we can download driver packs as well for uh, touchpads and also um, network drivers and things like that which makes it a lot more easier but for the home user, do they really need something like this? Probably not, uh, because you can get all those drivers, like I said, from the manufacturer's website, which makes life a lot easier. So let me quickly show you how you would go about doing that sort of stuff. So for instance, NVIDIA, uh, which is your graphics card, it will be going to their website and then basically putting in uh, the graphics card name and model number and version and then downloading it for the particular type of operating system you're running, whether it be Windows 10 or Windows 7. Same thing for your motherboard, whether it be an MSI motherboard, you can then download all the drivers for that product. And it will be the same thing for any type of MSI product. They will always have drivers for it and it will always be on MSI's website. You can go to the support page, pick the actual uh, motherboard that is the one that you've got and then go to the support page and download all of those drivers. It's very simple and easy to do. As you can see here, you can select what drivers you want, whether it be BIOS, whether it be audio, whether it be network drivers, you can choose the operating system and away you go. You can get access to all those drivers. Chipset drivers are on there. So you don't really need to use software like that to get all the latest drivers uh, for your system. The problem is a lot of people don't know how to find what model number they've got for their motherboard and it can be a little bit more difficult. So for those reasons, software like uh, Snappy Driver makes it a lot easier. You can see Asus, Gigabyte, ASRock, they all have their own pages where you can get support for all the hardware uh, for them drivers and you can use them and download them from here for free. AMD is another one that you might need to use from time to time, whether it be their chipset drivers or graphics cards. Uh, you can get all the drivers, as you can see here. Just basically go to their website and download the correct version and install it, and it will start to work. And it's that simple, really. If you've got an Intel system, you go to Intel and start to download uh, the Intel drivers, whether it be Wi-Fi drivers, Ethernet drivers, chipsets, Intel Nooks. You can see them there all the drivers and uh, will be listed on their website. You just go ahead and download which ones you need, unzip them and install them. Same thing for Realtek network drivers, whether it be Realtek uh, audio or network or whatever it is you're trying to do, go to the manufacturer's website and download the correct drivers and you should be good to go from there. So what do I recommend people do? Well, if you're a home user, I would definitely go to the manufacturer's website and download the latest and greatest drivers from their website. It's safer, it's easier, and it makes it a lot more uh, simpler for the person that's trying to get a driver for uh, their graphics card or whether it be their motherboard or something like that. 
and there's downloading utilities from their websites like for instance MSI has one, ASUS, Gigabyte, they all have their own utilities which you install and it will keep all the drivers for that motherboard updated on a regular basis. The only thing it won't do is flash your BIOS for you which is another thing you'll have to do separately uh, from installing drivers, it's a complete different thing but you can keep that BIOS updated by downloading the latest BIOS update and flash the firmware or flash the BIOS and it should be okay to do that from time to time especially if you're having issues now where snappy driver does come into its own is when you have uh, a driver which is unknown and you don't know what driver it is maybe the hardware id is hard to find and you don't know how to search for drivers like that snappy driver is a great way of finding hard to find drivers or unknown type of devices and it can find drivers very quickly and easily for that device and get it installed on the system so that said it is useful for that type of thing and it does happen from time to time so having snappy driver is useful uh, for those situations but for the most case windows will normally update all the drivers for you and you can then go ahead and put in your nvidia drivers or amd drivers or other types of drivers that you like to use yourself manually just to get the best audio driver or maybe graphics driver for that system which is the latest and greatest Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope this one's useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day, have a great Easter holiday, and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.